what's good youtube is your man bg tech life and today we got the pixel 4a from google shout out to team pixel for sending this out so i can check it out i'm definitely going to be getting into this thing definitely going to be a nice way to get me some stock google in my life and i'm sure some dope photography in my life now guys on the channel you know i still been using the pixel 2xl so this thing right here is definitely about to get some work and we definitely got to check it out we definitely got to review it but um i have used it for a day and um the reason that i have it in the box guys is because i didn't fully unbox it i took it out of the box but i didn't take the, all the internals of the box out so we're gonna have us a little unboxing and we're gonna have us a little uh, first impressions, guys. So as you can see, nice Google packaging. As you can see, I got the just black with like that off-white color, gray color type home button. I like when they have those accent home buttons on these Google devices, man. I think it's really dope when they do that. Like they just take the home button and throw a whole different color on there. I mean, that's becoming very trademark. I like that. Um, packaging is very clean very nice very google picture of the phone on the packaging guys now the spec of this device uh set the processor is uh actually the snapdragon 730 it's got 128 gigs of storage and it's actually only 349 bucks guys so this will be a direct competitor for like an iphone se and I know the camera on this thing is probably gonna be definitely smoking. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is go ahead and get it out of the box. We done seen enough of the box, guys. So here we go. Like I said, I used it. Yeah, you, as you can see, it just came on. Um, we're not gonna get heavy into it. I'm gonna get into the rest of the box, actually. But yeah, it just came on. As you can see, it's got a, it's a very clean and simplistic device guys um i like the simpleness of this device already um the good backup device good device for a kid that likes android and it, you know is a kid and you don't want to spend too much money on them. i mean this right here you're getting cameras updates and performance uh the 730 the 730 is was in one of the tcl devices that i had and the 730 processor never gave me a problem i've never i've i haven't had any problems with it so far so um for this 349 dollars price point um this phone is coming pretty strong as you can see we got a fingerprint scanner on the back but let's get into the rest of the contents of this uh box here so we can see pull this out and we have some paperwork from google okay and we got a nice touch now this is 18 watt charge right here guys so you can get that thing charged up you know you definitely want to be able to do that you want to be able to get your device charged up in a good amount of time so it's 18 watts it's going to charge it up pretty fast also we got a type c cable type c to type c that's the way to go now with charging cables type c not type a to type c type c to type c and very quality might i add it feels very quality now, last but not least, we have our, uh, let, me get, let me wrestle with this thing. But this is a nice touch right here in the box. Um, this is actually an adapter that you can hook to another device, transfer stuff, or you can plug a, a, a flash drive into your device. Um, it is a adapter for USB-A to Type-C. And I get a lot of use out of these guys. And I love this adapter right here. This specific adapter by Google, I had it in a previous Google phone. And I love how it slims out when you actually get to the type C part because you can actually use it with a case. A lot of adapters and stuff like this, um, that type C to, I mean, that USB A to type C adapters, they cannot fit it, you know, on the device while the device has a case on. But this one can, so that's a nice touch. I utilized that, and it was about time I got a fresh one. So shout out to Google on that tip. So that's pretty much everything in the box. And again, shout out to Team Pixel. Now, let's get into this device. Let's talk a little bit more about it, guys. 
I have um, actually just some more spec. This device has a 5.8 inch uh, display. It's 1080 HD plus uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor. The front camera is eight megapixels, rear camera 12.2 megapixels. And you know, I love these devices with these low megapixel counts because I mean, Google and, and iPhone, they never really get into that. Okay, we're gonna say we got 24 megapixels, 40 megapixels. Like they use what they have and they really put it to work. Um, we have a six gigs of RAM, 128 uh, gigs of storage, like I said, and the battery capacity is 3140, 3140 milliamps. Um, of course, running the latest Android, Android 10. Now, guys, I'm telling you, 3140 milliamp battery should be plenty enough to, to power this device, and you have this nice 18 watt uh, charging brick that's gonna charge this device up pretty quick. Um, so, take a look at the device. Now, let's look at uh, just this device. This is the just black. As you can see, too, on the right side, we have our power button and our volume rocker. On the back, we've got a physical, we've got a physical fingerprint scanner, and we have our flash with a single camera. Um, I like how Google does it. I mean, they kill a camera game. I love how they just come into the camera game with a single camera and the camera is killing it. And of course we have our Google branding on the back of the device. On the bottom, we have speakers. Um, and this is like a dual speaker setup because you have a bottom firing speaker and you also have a speaker that fires from the top of the device. So that's very dope. Um, like I said, it's the type C at the bottom. Very, uh, that that's just, you know, type C, it is what it is. On the side, we have nothing clean phone except for where you inject your uh, SIM card. Let me see if we can get that. Yeah, that's where you put the SIM card at, guys. And on the top, we bringing back a classic, guys. Google did it on that budget device. Now, we'll see if it's on the Pixel 5, but man, I'm happy with this right here. Um, they have some recording software on this device, and now, and it has the headphone jack, guys. So, I mean, that's very dope. They brought back the headphone jack. Um, not saying that they brought it back, but I'm just saying to have a headphone jack on a device these days, they didn't take it off. It's very dope. I love headphone jacks. I think they should be on phones. Um, we haven't came that far where the headphone jack shouldn't be on phones. I mean, everybody still can find a use for it. Um, if you're using a microphone, if you're using some type of headset, if you got high quality headphones, you want to plug in, not Bluetooth. Um, if you got a car and you still use an aux cord and you don't have Bluetooth in your car, I mean, this is it. This is everything right here, guys. So, um, very nice device, man. Um, very good look. Very uh, compact design. This is, um, for me, this would be a very good, like, second device, budget device. Of you can get a lot done. You can put you can pull this out and just take a picture. It's even one-handed use. I mean, we getting some some functionality on this device that I think you know is missing. And it's very simple. It's a very bland device. And at three hundred forty-nine dollars, um, I think it's worth it. The price point. I haven't done a review yet, but just the fact that they got a headphone jack on here, you're gonna get the newest Android and the cameras. I took a selfie on this device. But and I took a couple pictures. The cameras are slamming. The cameras are all over the internet. The the selfie camera and the camera on the rear are slamming. I'm sorry. I noticed that. I've been watching all the creators take pictures with this device, and they've been taking some fantastic pictures. I can't lie. You can say, "Oh well, how do you know?" And da 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 da. -da. It is what it is, guys. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. But okay. So and as we dig into the device. It's a pretty nice, it's a, it's a easy fingerprint. Now, fingerprint scanner, touch my finger, and it's open. We unlock. You see how fast that was, guys? Um, this thing is pretty fast, man. For, uh, you know, it's, it's the fingerprint scanner, physical fingerprint scanner is doing its job. So let me do that one more time. So you can see, I'm just drop my finger on there now, and I'm inside my device, guys. And that is dope. So. Right now on my device, I don't have a lot going on. It's very simple. It's, 
we working with, with stock Google. Um, and you know, you get the welcome to your new pixel. That's very dope. Um, a very nice little touch right there. Um, I'm looking at the screen and it was, as you can see, we got the whole punch selfie camera. Um, I'm not bothered by that at all. I'll say it. Um, I've seen this before on different devices and I think it's a cool little place just to put it. Um, it's better than the notch. This is 10 times better than the notches that Google was doing in the past. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say Google. I don't wanna hurt y'all feelings, but this is, I like this iteration of just this single camera hole punch right here in the corner and outside of a big hole uh, contraption right here in the middle of my screen or at the top in the middle of my screen with the notch. Very clean wallpapers on this device also, guys. So um, yeah, we got this thing looking clean. I pretty much set it up um, a little bit, put some apps on it, and I've been playing with it. And first impressions, I mean, is, you know, it's very simple. It's not, it's, 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 a, it's a very compact device, guys. This is not big. Maybe they should have made an XL version of this. Um, I'm just gonna put that out there but very compact, I still, but a nice screen, very nice screen on this device. And um, you can definitely, I like the compactness, the simplicity of it. It's, it's like a toy to me, guys. I love tech, so it's just, it's, it's like a toy to me. I mean, if you enter big phones, this is not gonna be for the phone for you, of course, but um, yeah, if you want something small, compact, like a secondary device, I mean, a device is a very it's, it's a cool little device like this is a solid device for what it is and um it has some good internals with the as far as the processor go it has some slamming cameras on it um so right now only thing is i wish it would have came in an xl but i haven't been noticing anything it's pretty snappy device it's snappy it's this fairly snappy um but yeah just the first impressions guys I really gotta look into this thing. It's a clean look. It's definitely clean. Um, the plastic does not feel like plastic to me. It gives the appearance of some type of metal and it looks pretty, you know, it looks like some type of metal also. It's got a nice look to it. I like the way it looks. I like the matte finish. I definitely like the finish on this device and the color uh, selection by Google. Just a nice black, simple, just, you know, but we're going to give you a nice, simple, small phone with slamming cameras, nice processor, and a nice screen for you guys. And that's that's the first, you know what I mean? Just the first impression, guys. But other than that, um, yeah, I wish it was in an XL, but it's still, um, it's still, I, I like it. I like it for what it is, you know? But this is your man, BG Tech Life. These are the first impressions. This is just me. We're going to really get into this device and see how it really works and really get some camera going and some production going with this device so I can really give out some grades. But yeah, it's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.